Good morning, sir. Good morning. Dr. Hennessy, do you know Rear Admiral Robertson? Rear Admiral Robertson? He's a chaplain in command of all other chaplains in this district. Oh, I see. No, sir, somehow or other, our paths never seem to have crossed. He's a grand old gentleman. Been in the Navy for years and years. As a matter of fact, he's the man who married me to Mr. Schaefer. Oh? Well, nobody's perfect, are they, huh? In any event, I ran into him on the golf course yesterday. It was very embarrassing. Oh, I can see how it would be embarrassing. How? Well, yesterday was Sunday. The Admiral had a lot of embarrassing questions. Oh, that's terrible. I mean, how'd you answer him, sir? Dr. Hennessy, I answered him by stealing a page from your book. From my book? I simply stood there and stammered till it was his turn to tee off. Well, stammered? But uh, I, do, I wasn't aware of the fact that well, I I'm worried stammered, about sir. his looks. He's drawn. He's haggard. I looked at his medical file. And he hasn't had a physical in over two years. I want you to make a date with him for a complete checkup. Me, sir? I know what you're thinking. He's big brass, and the senior medical officer should examine him personally. Well, now that you mention it... Jake, it's time you learn that one of the key privileges of rank is passing the buck. Any questions? Well, sir, couldn't I just pass the buck to Dr. Michaels? Dr. Michaels passed the buck to you. Oh? Oh. Now, the Padre may try to stall you. Nobody likes to take a physical if they don't have to. But I want you to insist. I don't care how you do it. Make him get that checkup. Yes, sir. Well, one thing more. Yes, sir. I don't want to discourage you, and bear in mind, not only is he an admiral, but he's an ordained minister. Good luck. have an appointment for you. Oh, well, that's probably because I don't have one. Uh, is he busy? That isn't the point. The name of your chaplain, please. I beg your pardon? The name of your chaplain, please. Oh? Oh! Oh, my chaplain. Oh, it's, uh, 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 uh don't tell me now. Is that, oh, tall, sort of baldish fellow. Very friendly, though. Uh, Brady, Commander Brady. When did Commander Brady refer you to Admiral Robertson? Oh, he didn't. I was referred by Captain Schaefer. Captain Schaefer? Yes, ma'am. The senior medical officer? Yes, ma'am. Captain Schaefer. Doctor, it's customary for a man to be referred by his chaplain, not by his commanding officer. Oh, I see. But in my case... I suggest you see Commander Brady and discuss your problem with him. Then if he feels it necessary for oh, you but to... but you, you see, it isn't that I have a problem. Well, what I mean is that it isn't that I don't have a problem. I, 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 I just... Well, what I mean... Please, out of the question. Yeah. The Admiral's very busy. I... Hello. Uh, Lucille, could you please call a sporting store and find out if a driver with a loose head can be repaired, or do I have to buy a new one? Yes, sir. I can't understand it. I've only used it for 25 years. <laughs> well, I think maybe I can repair that temporarily, sir. All it needs is a little adhesive tape. You think so? Oh, yes, sir. And I say that as a doctor of medicine who has never lost a single sick golf club. Is that your bag? Yes, sir. Is there by any chance some adhesive tape in it? Two full rolls. Lucille, forget the call. Surgery this way, doctor. Uh, doctor uh, Hennessy, Charles Hennessy. You'd better sit at my desk so the patient can stretch out. Yes, sir. Good day, Doctor. <laughs> you give some thought to becoming an admiral yourself someday. Oh, thank you, sir, but I'm afraid I wouldn't stand a prayer. Uh -oh. <laughs> How about that? You said the secret word. <laughs> yes, sir. But don't be afraid about being reverend, my boy. Chaplains are human, too, you know. Even the ones who are admirals? Mm, well, not them, but all the others. Yes, sir. <laughs> you ready? All ready, sir. Good. By the way, Doctor, what brings you to see me? Well, sir, Captain Schaefer, the senior medical officer. Wally Schaefer? Yes, sir. Oh, a nice guy. Well, sir, I think this is going to do it. Make it good and tight. I always swing for a distance. Yes, sir. Well, the captain feels you look a little drawn, sir. 
And according to your medical file, you haven't had a physical examination in two years. Two years? Is it that long? Yes, sir. He sent me to bludgeon you into taking one. There we are. That's the ticket. Uh, 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 what? You know, sir. Oh, huh. all right. I'll be in your dispensary at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, well, I, uh, uh, uh -huh. Admiral, isn't there some biblical quotation to cover a situation like this? How about you can't win them all? That's the one I was thinking of, sir. <laughs> well, sir, if, if the Admiral will excuse me, sir, I, <laughs> uh, I'll see you at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Goodbye, Doctor. Yes, sir. Uh, goodbye, sir. Oh, good day, miss. Is everything all right, sir? Yes, yes, yes. Everything is fine, thank you. 23rd Psalm. I beg your pardon? Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. I wonder if the pool hall's open. You're nervous, huh? Nervous? Why should I be nervous? Well, he is a high-ranking officer. So I'm a doctor. To me, he, he's just another patient. I like your attitude. The fact that you're not impressed with his two stars and his position as chief of all the chaplains and the fact that he's also the closest friend of chief of naval operations shows to me that you're a man... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dr. Hennessy. He can't? I mean, he can't. Something very urgent came up and he had to leave town. I'll call to set up another appointment as soon as he returns. Goodbye. Thank you, Lucille. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. But it's, it's wrong to deceive people, isn't it? Especially for a man of the cloth. Not in this case, sir. No, Not no. When... It's wrong. It's definitely wrong. Well, come to think of it, maybe you're right. Lucille, will you please call my wife and tell her we're going to Palm Springs for a few days? Uh, say I'll be around in 15 minutes to pick her up. Oh, and... Ask her to be sure not to forget my golf shoes. Thank you. It was a pleasure hearing from you after all these years since last we trod. Shouldn't that be treaded, sir? No, it shouldn't. <clears throat> uh, since last we trod the hallowed halls of our beloved alma mater. Good. You remember the night you and I broke into the girls' dormitory and, uh, well, what are you looking at? Go on, sir. Cross that out, 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 out. You and I had some wonderful times together. Wonderful times. You remember the night you and I broke into the girls' dormitory? I said cross that out. What are you trying to do? Be a wise guy? No, sir. New paragraph. However, even for old times' sake, I cannot possibly lend you $6,000. $6,000? What's Bunky trying to do? Blackmail you? Blackmail me? About what? How about the night you and he broke into the girls' dormitory? Miss Hale. I'm sorry, sir. All right, never mind. I'll finish the letter at home. Out, out, out. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. The captain, sir? Yeah, what is this? May I speak with you a minute, sir? What about? It's about Rear Admiral Robertson, sir. Oh, do you have the results of his examination? No, sir, I don't. He hasn't had his examination. He hasn't? Why not? Well, sir, in the last three days, he's broken three appointments with me, sir. Doctor, I thought I gave you an order. Yes, sir, you did, and I've tried to carry it out, sir, but... But, oh, but, 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 why does everybody around here make excuses? Miss Hale, get the chaplain's office on the phone. Yes. Well, sir, I'm not trying to make excuses. It's the Admiral oh, who's broken the... Oh, what's the use? Yes. Hello, uh, Captain Schaefer calling. Hello. It's imperative I see the Admiral immediately. No, tomorrow will not do. I'll be over there in 20 minutes. Jake, you can't be wishy-washy about these things. You're absolutely right, sir. I guess you can't. I must say, I admire your determination. Guts. That's what it takes. Guts. Yes, sir. I'll certainly remember that. Now, admiral or no admiral. Yes, sir. You're absolutely right. May I go now, sir? Yes. Thank you, sir. Miss Hale will arrange to have a driver pick you up at the dispensary in five minutes. Thank you, sir. Sir? Take everything you need for the examination. Conduct it right in his office. But, sir... Yes, you, you, you. I don't care if you have to sit there all day. I want the Admiral to have his physical examination. Goodbye. But, 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 but sir, I thought you were going. Did you really? I said well, that for enough. effect. Tell him I was in the operating room. Call there, an emergency. Oh, sneaky. What? 
Uh, I'll order a driver for you, sir. Doctor, if Mohammed won't come to the mountain, may I quote you on that, sir? To a Protestant chaplain? Don't be ridiculous. Your name Dr. Hennessy, sir? Yeah, that's right. My name's Krauss. They tell me I gotta ride you over to the office of the district chaplain. Okay, I'll be with you in a minute. Take your time. Thanks, I will. What do you want to go over there for? Oh, I don't know. For laughs. Got big trouble, huh? Uh. Okay, I'm ready. Doc, do me a favor. Huh? Don't go. Why not? Those guys will kill you every time. Every time? You know it. Should I tell you what's wrong with chaplains? Yeah, tell me. Well, they are here to help. A guy goes with a problem, and right away the chaplain is on his side. That's bad? Very. Name one other, one other person in the Navy who wants to help a guy with a problem. What about doctors? Nah, they just want you not to be too sick to work. They don't really want to help. <laughs> no offense, doctor. Oh, no offense. Nah. The, the chaplain is the only guy. He'll bend over backwards, he'll write letters home, he'll make phone calls, he won't sleep nights until everything is as close to the way you want it as possible. Who is the whole system? The whole system? The armed forces. The only way a guy can get along in the armed forces is to think of everybody as the enemy. Well, I know all officers are supposed to be the enemy. No, Doc, but not, I not only officers, everybody. Everybody's the enemy. Well, if chaplains aren't like you say... Doc, Doc, did you ever hear the one weak link that breaks the chain? No. Well, that's the chaplain. Now, you trust him, and before you know it, you're making the fatal mistake of trusting other people, too. Carry to an extreme. Do you know what this could mean? The collapse of our national security? Right. You never thought about it like that, huh? No, can't say I ever did. The enemy, Doc. The enemy. They are out there. Everybody is the enemy. I don't care if your own mother is in the waves. She is the enemy, too. Krauss? Yes, sir? You give me a new philosophy. I uh -huh. Yep. You, uh, still want to talk to the chaplain? No. Nope. But drive me over there anyway. I think I'll beat him up. All right, sir. You can roll your sleeve down now. Is that it? That's it. I suppose Captain Schaefer thinks I've been avoiding you. Why do you say that, sir? Because I have. I don't like being probed and prodded around like you've been doing for the last few hours. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I tried to be as gentle as I could. No, I'm not complaining, Chica. You're a fine doctor, Thara. You took my blood pressure twice. Oh, did I, sir? Well, I, I guess I forgot to write the first reading down. Well, I won't trouble you any longer now, sir. Mm. Doctor. Yes, sir. How am I? Well, we still have a couple of reports to come from the laboratory. No, 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 uh, but without the laboratory. How am I in general? How do you feel in general, sir? Fine. Well, then that's the answer. Goodbye, sir. No, no. No, no, just a bit. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to raise my voice. Please sit down, Jay. Please. Yes, sir. Are you telling me the truth? What reason would I have to lie, sir? Well, you may have found something wrong and don't want to worry me. Sir, you just told me you feel fine. Why do you suspect something is wrong? Well, I, I do feel fine, but no. everyone has some minor ache or pain. I'm not fooling you, am I? No, sir, you're not. Is it my blood pressure? Among other things. None of them too serious. Serious enough to force me to retire? Well, I can't answer that, sir. That's not my decision to make. But I can say that a man in your physical condition doesn't feel fine. Well, perhaps if I gave up golf or watched my diet more carefully. Admiral, sir. 
Yes, you can take better care of yourself. But that is not going to alter one basic fact. Which is? You're getting older, sir. <clears throat> Dr. Hennessy, have you ever heard the expression, tell it to the chaplain? Yes, sir, many times. It's used as a joke, as a comeback to the man who fears that he's being treated unfairly. I know, sir. And it implies that what the chaplain says won't make any difference. Still, it's a joke I don't resent. Because it recognizes that the chaplain is always available as the compassionate friend. I'm sure that's very true, sir. But the chaplain needs to be more than just a, a clergyman. Do you realize that a good deal of the time he isn't even dealing with members of his own faith. Do you know that? No, sir. I guess I never did realize that. Each group of men has one chaplain who is not assigned on a basis of their religion. When a man feels that he needs help, he has to go to that chaplain first. Of course, if it's a religious problem, he is referred to a chaplain of his own faith. You should make a point of seeing it yourself sometime. You would find priests helping Protestants, rabbis helping Catholics, not as uh, clergymen helping parishioners, but as human beings helping their fellow men. That's very interesting, sir. Interesting? It's a profoundly stirring tradition. It's religion in its highest sense. And I'm proud to be a part of it. I'm sure I'd be very proud too, sir. I don't want to retire. It's my life. Why should I have to give it up if I don't want to? Answer me that, Doctor. All right, sir, I'll try. First of all, your health is not up to Navy standards. But I'm not a pilot, I'm a minister. You're also an executive, sir. A coordinator of a great many activities and a supervisor of a great many men. A job which, as I understand it, takes up a great deal of time and therefore takes a great deal of stamina and endurance. Which I do not have? Which you do not have. All right, continue. Well, sir, I'm getting out of medical territory, but I don't know. It seems to me you haven't done quite as good a job as you think. You'd better explain that, mister. Yes, sir. How long have you been a chief of chaplain, sir? Fifteen years. Fifteen years. It seems to me in all that time you should have been able to groom a successor. Well, of course I, I could have groomed a uh, successor. I know of at least five men who... Who what, Admiral? Can do the job as well as you? Yes. Then why not let one of them do it, sir? Because I... Uh, it's a question of... Admiral, you can't think as highly as you do of Navy chaplains and still believe there's only one of them with a direct line to God. Dr. Hennessy, are you in the habit of talking this way to admirals? Sir, I'm not in the habit of talking to admirals at all. I'd never attempt it if I didn't have a great deal of respect for the individual man. I see. Well, I'm glad you tried, Doctor. It may have cost you your commission, but I'm glad you tried. Miss Dobbs? I know the document we have on file, my resignation. Yes, sir. Please bring it in for my signature. I knew it. I knew it. It's all my fault. What's your fault? I should have thrown him out the first time I saw that little black bag. <laughs> you see, he's been with me for ten years. We're secretly in love. <laughs> I won't do it. Lucille. I will not do it. Lucille.
Just one more question, Doctor. Yes, sir. How about golf? Oh, you can still play, sir, but I'd use the cart. It's a deal. However, to keep your commission and as a penance for arguing with an admiral, I insist on you playing 18 holes with me tomorrow. It'll be a pleasure, sir. What's your handicap? I'm a three, sir. Get out. Where's Dr. Schaefer now? He's out playing golf with the Admiral. Oh. Incidentally, you played golf with the Admiral yesterday, didn't you? Oh, yeah. What'd you shoot? 104. You, a three handicap, shot 104? Well, I didn't use any clubs. That's very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> you let him win, didn't you? Me? Never. You mean in the golf game? I guess I did. <laughs> Hello, Arthur. Chick. Captain. Hello, Chick. How are you? Fine, thank you, sir. Well, how is the game? Are you sure about the results of the Admiral's examination? Well, yes, sir. What's wrong? Well, in nine holes, he beat me out 11 bucks. <laughs> The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. How much do I owe you for getting the driver repaired, Chief? Two dollars, sir. Hey, well, my boy, and thank you. Thank you. Well, goodbye. See you soon. Oh, Admiral. Hmm? Uh, the, the, the captain and I were wondering if maybe you'd like to have dinner with us Friday night? Sort of in honor of your years in the Navy and my 11 bucks. Oh, that's very nice of you. Just the three of us? Well, no, sir. The, there's a few more people who would like to pay their respects. Martha? Yes, Doctor. How many acceptances do we have so far? 1,238, and we're still coming in. Isn't that nice? Isn't that truly nice? Thank you.